while in Britain. Uh, this was happening definitely in the 1700s, but it's probably still happening to this day. <laughs> and getting invaded by pirates. They're coming on board and killing all of us. Oh, barnacles. Meanwhile, in China... Oh, so this is what happens when uh, you're, you're born, isn't it? Oh, oh my god! Every Chinese baby gets to be baby boss? I'm so jelly. Dude, imagine being so based you're getting your grind on like two months out of the womb. Me, when my dentist tells me I grind while I sleep. Be a real one for that. Me, when I was a kid. When I grow up, I'm gonna be driving one of these. Oh yeah. Versus me after the age of like 25 this is the best car in the world that honda or like a toyota honestly barely needs any maintenance lasts for like 20 years pretty cheap like what else could you ask for not too much to fill up your gas tank here's another version but same meme fuels your workouts costs literally nothing can be cooked in a bazillion ways the most based food and then you throw a little bit of cheese on this bad boy and everyone loses their minds i mean there was literally an entire country that collapsed without them there's a global resource shortage insert autocracy and or geopolitical political U.S. opponent that has large quantities, U.S. homogeny is finished. A random farmer in bum freak nowhere stumbles across the largest supply of said resource known to man. And it just keeps happening. It's so funny how this country's geography alone makes them so OP. This meme is specifically referring to a helium discovery in northern Minnesota, which may be the biggest in North America. But like I said, it doesn't really matter the resource. These articles just continue to pop up. February once every four years. Just one more day. Day. I'm not, I'm not asking, asking for. for <laughs> I already know what he says. I'm not asking you for a year. Just one more day. It's always day. February, too. I wonder why they do that. We did just recently experience another leap year here in 2024. I've always wondered what it's like to be born on February 29th. Incredible things are happening on Roblox. There's literally 3,000 people playing Sisyphus Simulator. Children yearn to be Sisyphus. <laughs> I think this is by far my personal favorite story in Greek mythology. Every day it feels like we're all just doing this. I love Tyga so much! You like me? No-ish. I love Tyga. This geographical region that spreads across Canada, the USA, and most of Russia and the Nordic countries. That's truly my anime waifu. Oh look, a review of the UK's Stonehenge. Wait, one star? It's just a few rocks. Well, what else did you expect? Honestly, you played yourself if you went there and expected more. Fall asleep on my keyboard? Polls in the thread agree with me. Oh, be careful there. This person's from Montenegro. They're gonna have a lot to fire back with. Will you date me? Breathe if yes. Recite the Bible in Japanese if no. I'll be waiting. Meanwhile, my crush. Oh look, it's the elderly weightlifting championship. Meanwhile, Europa Universalis 4 wins the world record. It's actually insane how long this game game's been going on for, and it's still getting new DLC. It dropped almost 11 years ago. Still going strong. Mom, I found your old Barbie. Can I keep it? Sure, sweetie. It's all yours. Dad, I found this in your room. Give it back now. Never touch my original copy of Rome Total War. I don't care if it's my own son. I will stab him with a spear. Average world builder fantasy flag. Basic design looks too modern. The green means nature. This basic eagle design actually has a lot of complex lore. I'm into vexology and symbol taken from a free logo website. Meanwhile, average actual medieval flag. I am ordained by freaking god. Simplicity thrown out the window. Violent symbols galore. Color symbols from some ancient dynasty 683 years ago and the decapitated head that represents of the people that they did not really like. Like, come on, fan fantasy flags, you gotta be a little bit more realistic. At least try. Doesn't seem that hard. A flag should be simple and easy to recognize. No, a flag should be complex and contain levels of meaning accessible only to the elect. That's how you really make them. This Venetian one is insane. This dog is known as the Swedish Valhund. They're basically wolf corgis. <clears throat> I need one. How have I never seen this before in my entire life? Saturn named after a god. Jupiter named after a god. Mars named after a god. Venus named after a god. Mercury named after a God. Meanwhile, there's Earth, named after dirt. Like, seriously, can we have a little bit more self-love when it comes to the solar system? Oh look, it's an average ancient Roman engineer. What the freak is calculus? Anyways, gonna build a 70 mile long aqueduct. Meanwhile, modern engineers, AutoCAD crashed again. We really need to go back to the old ways, where we just kind of did it by eye. Music fun fact, the oldest flute is 60,000 years old, whilst the earliest indication of humans wearing pants dates to 20,000 years ago, indicating approximately 40,000 years where we had music, but no pants. I mean, let's be honest though, music is a lot more important than 
pants. Like if someone made me choose, you can never listen to music for the rest of your life, or you always must not wear pants. That's easy. Music is crucial to human development. Meanwhile, the two sides of Europe. We have the blue side as an anime girl, and uh, there's the red side. That's I can hear the echoes, the uh, the much more I guess uh, epic music you could say. Love the outliers here. We have Slovenia and Estonia included, but no Finland and no Ireland. So basically, what they're saying is on the left we have Western Europe, and on the right we have um, a little bit more of an Eastern Europe sort of vibe, I guess. In light green, we have the countries that haven't eaten their prime minister. In red, the countries that have eaten their prime minister. And in yellow, they have never had a prime minister. That's Switzerland. That is because they typically have a Swiss council with multiple people, and so far the people from this nation have decided to not eat all of them yet. Yet is the key word. Maybe give them a few more years? Or maybe this is saying Switzerland has to have multiple because if they only had one, they would join the Netherlands on this list. I'm kind of hungry right now. Imagine if we all got together and just ate Joe Biden. <laughs> I did not think that was gonna sound as weird as it did. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the Worms game, I've been meaning to play this in my, uh, on my gaming channel, but I don't know if I want to anymore. I'm actually just curious what's gonna happen. Like, does he... Oh, okay, I was just... Oh wow. oh wow, oh wow, oh, I was not expecting that. Ukraine pill, Ukraine pill, Ukraine pill, Ukraine pill. Not only the Simpsons, but even Spongebob's foreshadowing things. What did they mean by this? Research has recently shown that nuclear wars are technically winnable. Oh frick, nuclear wars are technically winnable. Uh, do we really want to try that though? Oh my god, that was so good. The big lizard destroyed Metropolitan Tokyo for the 183rd time. Or 1800 times. That's probably closer to the amount of Godzilla movies there actually are. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't care. This is literally me. I don't care. I want to watch. If the Great Lake states and provinces united, it would be the greatest nation on Earth. So pretty much any of the states and provinces that touch the Great Lakes of North America, which includes Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. They're also getting New York out of this, as well as Quebec. A little bit of French speakers there, and Ontario. Oh yeah, and don't forget the other Great Lake of North America. That is uh, Salt Lake. They're getting Utah. Well, that just sets them over the edge. With Utah, they would definitely be the greatest nation on Earth. I see nothing wrong with this statement up here. Why is Mormon land here? mf -er doesn't know his geography. Oh, uh, my first time talking to girls. Didn't think I'd get this far. You're a girl, right? I'm a 65-year-old trucker from Utah. Well, uh, you didn't answer the question. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Select one option. I can only be contacted by telephone call or by text message. Alright, this person clearly just said text message. Explain why you cannot be contacted by telephone call. I don't like it. I don't see what the explanation you could give. Don't call me. <laughs> it's that simple. The world of statistics on Twitter announces the average person is a 28 year old Chinese man. Oh, well, okay then. I didn't know I needed that information, but yeah, that is, that is definitely true. Well, actually, is it technically anymore? Since India has more population, isn't on average the world's a 28 year old Indian man? Ooh, look, an art gallery of flags in Roblox. Where Mexico. Thank you so much for that comment, Goku Jr. I wouldn't have expected you to say anything. <laughs> oh, look, the Wikipedia article for the Kentucky meat shower. It happened between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. on March 3rd, 1876. This was a moment where what appeared to be red meat falling from the sky near Olympia Springs, Bath County, Kentucky. I don't know why you named it that. I don't know what else you expected from Bath County. There existed several explanations from plausible blood rain to not so plausible. Okay, I didn't need to read that article. Happy anniversary. I love history starter pack. Let's see which one I am. The actual historian spent $80,000 on a degree on Afro-Caribbean studies just to put historian in Twitter bio. Also considers any historical perspective different from his own misinformation. Sees immensely at anyone more successful than him. Average Redditor only cares about history to feed intellectual superiority complex. Never admit to being wrong. Bullies children despite knowing even less uh, than them in most cases. Here's the literal child basically. Watches over simplified religion Religiously, only knowledge uh, is from history memes. Okay, that one actually might be me. They got me. The Romabu is either uh, slash fit or the fattest. Uh, okay. Cares more about what happens cool than what actually happened, uh, everyday bro. This is one for sure history fan stereotype that I, I'm definitely not. Like, I just don't know that much about Rome, I have to be honest. The leftist historian, Redcon, refuses to read anything that wasn't, calls you, okay. There's the World War II fan. Okay, actually, this might be me too. Maybe I'm the literal child and the WW2 fan. History only consists of various tanks and plane names. I would agree with that. Actually, I don't know that much, to be honest, in terms of World War II designs and military equipment. Complains about never learning real history in school 
cool. Okay, I do that. As an extremist political, I, I wouldn't say it's extreme. Okay, well that, okay, this did get a lot of, <laughs> okay, there was, there was, I, okay, I'm just not gonna say anything. The World War I fan considers himself superior to the World War II fan, but is the exact same. Also Kaiserreich, also Sims for Imperial Germany. I do like to show interest in World War I more than World War II, but I know more about World War II than World War I. The Turbo... Uh, let's, okay, the uber chud, uh, okay, we can't, okay. Finally, again, actual historian, has been a professional historian long before you were born, has multiple published works, avoids bias and political propaganda, forgets more history in a day than you have learned your entire life. Honestly, just happy you're taking an interest in history in general, too. I do love that. I am very happy when I hear people just, you know, like history, even if it is just in some of these interesting ways here, just to get yourself down the path. Was Franz Ferdinand a footy manager or the C word who did? World War One. Oh, I'm thinking of freaking Rio Ferdinand. I can see where he made that mistake. I sometimes make that mistake. <laughs> I like how he claims did World War One. George Bush, anyone? Wait, what did he do again? Me reading Hilter's Wikipedia page after I went back in the past and ruined his painting to get him rejected from art school so I don't have to study his overrated and boring painting in art class. I mean, well, I do have to admit his paintings, I mean, I'm not a painter guy, I'm not a paint critic. They don't necessarily seem all that impressive. I mean, they good, don't get me wrong, they good. But I have to agree with the Austrian art school that said, Let's see what the judges have to say. Oh, look at that, perfect tens across the board, except for the German judge. Nine on that one. There's a nice German joke for you. Nine, but wait, doesn't that mean the German said no? Isn't that more like a zero? Sitting at the bar, feel someone tap my shoulder, turns around and see a guy standing there with a weird smile on his face. He says, got the time, but he's almost laughing as he Asks. I say sure and pull out my pocket watch. As soon as I pull out my pocket watch, the guy belts out laughing, along with a large table nearby full of people laughing and looking at me. Before I can even check the time, the guy walks away to the laughing table and loudly says, I told you it was a freaking pocket watch chain. One of the girls at the table says, who the freak? But is laughing so hard she cannot speak. I look around and see that there are other people in the place looking at me and some are laughing too. Puts my pocket watch away and try to go back to my drink. What's wrong with pocket watches? <laughs> I don't know why I liked this one so much. What a great story, but also I think he's right. These things are cool What do you mean? Like we should totally bring these things back literal drip right here and big thanks to my patrons Kansas was mentioned Douchebag a fat normal Carmel amateur archaeology the beautiful Megan Edward Frederick Headland Headland without Inquisitor Jack Raven's annoying friend Lugsenberg loves heavy if you hear this I love the Mexican 760 and Zany Boy.